Good evening. Welcome to Mary is the New Evangelization.com. My name is Tom. Tonight <clears throat> we're going to talk about fetal tissue and um, abortion and, and what they're doing with the fetal tissue. Uh, <clears throat> the fetal tissue, in other words, the tissue from a human being who is exterminated in the womb that the tissues can be extracted from that human being it, even though the human being is very small <clears throat> there's very potent cells stem cells in that growing human uh, really right from the start of conception I mean think about that that single cell at conception <laughs> turns into you and me I mean that's powerful that's a powerful cell okay so <clears throat> it's a beautiful cell I mean think of it all the different eye colors all the different hair colors skin complexions I mean that cell is amazing so that's what's going on is the people who have other illnesses and diseases they want the stem cells from these uh, unborn humans because they're so potent they haven't even begun to you know multiply you know it's in its earliest stages so they they try to inject that into you know humans that struggle with different conditions you know whether it's memory loss or arthritis whatever you know whatever it is now it they're also putting it in um, different uh, things I've heard such as um, uh, vitamins there's vitamins they're putting the fetal cells in vitamins um, and where else was it was I'm trying to think if it was perfume or not um, <clears throat> obviously there's vaccines there's you know we don't even know because it's so secretive everything that they're using these fetal cells in with all the products but obviously the abortion can continues in our country because it's big business and it's benefiting obviously you know these companies that are getting these uh, human cells <clears throat> early on now there was a movie out a couple months ago about I don't even remember the name of it it was a, a girl who basically got kidnapped and they put this drug in her stomach and sewed her up and then sent her to America or I can't remember what country they were sending her to but it exploded within her and her uh, IQ just went off the charts and she had this incredible psychic knowledge of everything you can imagine and she tried to pass it on but in the meantime they were trying to retrieve the drugs from her but it, it was insane really the movie was insane but they were fetal it was they were fetal stem cells that they had um, what did they do I mean they mimicked it somehow they were able to clone it in in some way shape or form so that was the, the theme of this movie and so it's you know they say oh you know it's all about women's choice no it's all about money is what it is those uh, humans are more valuable dead than they are alive according to you know these companies that are using using this it's in the medical field man that's <clears throat> that's what's going on now uh, so if if our smallest human member of our human family is not safe none of us are safe don't kid yourselves. Cops, we can see, not safe. Uh, minorities, not safe. Women, not safe. Okay, 
uh, and it, it goes down the line. Okay, no one's really safe. Men not safe. Humans are turning against humans, and that's because of abortion. If uh, abortion is humans turning against humans, so we're going to see it on all levels of society. So the stem cells. Basically, they're saying, you know, okay, if you don't want your fetal stem cells, uh, i.e. baby, we'll take them because we can use them. Now, so some people might be saying, well, you don't want your baby, we'll take the, the, st the cells from your baby and we'll use them and, and try to help humanity. I mean, that's what really is happening here because we're not stepping up to the plate. And protecting these baby humans, um, they're now becoming marketable. Their bodies are becoming marketable. Their cells are becoming marketable. And once you get big business involved in this thing and money, you know, it's, you know, you're dealing with a lot more than, uh, so they don't care. They'll, and they'll encourage it. They'll encourage women to do it, not telling them the consequences and the effects that abortion is going to have on them later in their life when they realize what happened to them. I mean, you talk about alien abduction. I mean, that's what an abortion is, man. These ladies are getting visited by strange instruments and something deep within them is being extracted and it's being used in laboratories. That's what's going on. So, women, I'm telling you, to be beautiful, to be feminine, you have got to shut the door on abortion. You have got to insist no more invasion in your body by these strange tools and these very strange humans who are doing the extracting okay who in the world what kind of human being can extract you know little baby humans from humans I mean come on this is <clears throat> this has gone too far so we're calling on January 22nd every Catholic and pro-life business organization church school to shut down on January 22nd <clears throat> in honor of our human brothers and sisters who are being extracted from their mother's safe womb. We're calling it Operation Mary. January 22nd, spread the word. If you're pro-life, close down on that day. Come to Washington, D.C., go to the local abortion clinic, have services, demonstrations, whatever. <clears throat> Operation Mary, January 22nd. Check out the Facebook event, Operation Mary. Sign up. Thank you.